use the hijab 10 discount code for 10% discount on a wide range of products, including premium Ethiopian black seed products. What I'm saying to you is that morally speaking, yeah, as an atheist, you have no anchorage, meaning you cannot claim anything is objective. Otherwise, I'll say to you, look, give me your mechanism, because you're on the record of saying that bestiality is okay. You're on the record of saying that a father can have sex with his son. I have never said that bestiality is okay. Oh, so you don't agree with that. Incest is okay, you said. Incest is okay. No, I have never said that either. So if two sisters or if two brothers have incest sexual relationship, there's nothing, I, I can't see anything wrong with it, right? Well, there is uh, actually nothing wrong with it, yeah. No, I've never said that either. Actually nothing wrong with it, yeah. Oh, mama, no! Look, do you believe it's, do you believe it is the case or not? I've, I've said to Ali, I've, I've said to Ali Dawa, he asked me, do you think it's okay for, a, for the father and the son to have sex? Yeah. He said, if there was no harm to society... No! <laughs> yeah, so you allow it? Shut up. I said if there evidently was no harm. Yeah, so there you have it, bro. And, and to the individuals in having incest, then there would be no problem. So here's the problem. Why are you using the harm principle? Uh, that is not reality. But why are you but, using the harm principle, though? Not, but that is not reality. But why are you using the harm but, principle? Because such a intercourse will have uh, harm on the individuals and the society, which is why incest is not reality. All right. Uh, can you prove the harm principle? Can you objectively prove the harm principle? No, no, I'm asking you right now. You said something. You made a claim, so can you prove it? You asked me to prove things. I answered you. Can you, can you objectively prove the harm principle? No, I will not. You cannot. That's the answer. That you cannot. It's not that you will not. It's that you cannot. I can and I will. No, you can't because John Stuart Mill couldn't. John Stuart Mill couldn't do it. Look, let's not pretend to be a philosopher. Wait, I do not believe that there is intrinsic... Sorry? Sorry? You don't believe in objective morality? I don't believe that there, that there is inherent objective morality. That doesn't make sense. Uh, objective morality. You don't believe in objective morality. Do you understand philosophy at all? Yeah, yeah, I do, and I've got the degrees to show it. Have you, do you, have you got anything to show it? There is morality on a descriptive level and on, uh, on, 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 on a level in which you prescribe it to society. I do not believe that intrinsically there is objective morality. In the world. In, what do you mean intrinsically? Sorry, I don't understand that. Sorry, can I you... I do not believe that uh, a human who is, who is born into the world... Yeah. No, that doesn't make sense. What you're saying doesn't make sense. No, your, your articulation is flawed. Your articulation is flawed. Your articulation is flawed. You, you, flawed? No, do you know why? Because what you're saying is, I do not believe when a human being has. Uh, morality is not possessive in that sense. You're, 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 you're all over the place. You either believe in... On, you, you either believe in objective morality or you don't. You're either a subjectivist or an objectivist. Which one of the two are you? Are you a subjectivist or an objectivist? I, 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 do not, I do not agree. Let, let, let me say it in different words for you. No, because you don't understand English as a first language. I do. So don't try it. Don't try it. You didn't make sense in your articulation. Now you're trying to make me look like the person. No, your articulation was flawed. So now say it in a proper way. Go on. I would like to say, there is a difference between saying a society has intrinsic morality and the difference between... Society? A society should have morality. What about society? What's society got to do with it? Are, do morals exist as an objective reality or not? Yes or do you, is, is that? That's not how this works. That is not how this works. Uh, yeah, really. So there's something that's called moral realism. What's more, is, are morals are, are morals objectively real or not? Are they real or not? Are they are, obj are morals objective or are they subjective? Moral values, subjective moral values, relative moral values. So what are they? Are they objective or subjective? In your view. Okay. My my question to you is so simple. Like, my question to you is morality. Is it objective or not? Are there such a thing as objective moral? No, I don't think so. So okay, good. So 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 then, therefore, all of your moral arguments have, have collapsed against Islam. No. So today we've collapsed all your scientific ones, and we've we've collapsed all your moral ones. No, they have not. Yeah, because anything that you say about Islam now, now hold on, anything that you say about Islam now morally doesn't make sense because there's no such thing as morality That's objectively. How morality works. That's it is how morality works. You just said it yourself. You don't believe it's objective. It's not true. It's not objectively true. A nihilist, for example, can be a nihilist in uh, so far that he does not believe that there are natural moral values. Nihilism is not synonymous with objectivity. Right? What are you talking about? A nihilist may believe that there are... Yeah, may, may, yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'm saying that they're not subjective. It's not synonymous. Nihilism is something which is... Of course it's not. Yeah, good, good. So you're, you're saying you're a subjectivist. If you're a subjectivist... then. No, you said you're not an objectivist. You must be a subjectivist. What are you then? No, stop pretending. You stop pretending. I'm the idiot, bro. I've studied this. You have not. Wait, wait, wait. Did you 
just say if I'm not an objectivist, then I must be a subjectivist. You have to be. If you're not, if you don't believe in objective morality, what are you laughing at, man? So, so if I if I don't believe in objective morality, then I have to believe in subjective. Morality. Yeah, because either objective or subjective, you've got two choices. What what's the third option? Go on. Bro, you're not even on A level's level. Bro, I swear to God, wallahi uqsum billah, you're not even a C grade A level. You're not even a C grade. If I were to if I were to mark your work, bro, you're not on C grade. You're not on bro, a year 10, a year 11 in ethics can get a better understanding of you. What I'm saying, a 16-year-old, a sharp 16-year-old will see that you don't know what you're talking about. Now, what is the other option? You've got objective morality, subjective morality, what's the third one? Now go and say it, what's the third option? You've either got, look you're talking, but you have no answers. You've either got objective morality, subjective morality, what's the other one? What's the other one? Do you, do you, think, do you think there is no other option besides Yeah, 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 I'm saying there's only, it's either objective or subjective. What's the third one? You, so you think there is only objective morality? Yeah, oh, come on, what's the third one? <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's not an answer, bro. I, I will make a video response to you. Because I think no, you don't need to make a video response. If it's not objective, it has to be subjective. Bro, you're going to get laughed at, you know, Cosmic Skeptic and them guys, they're going to laugh at you, bro. They're going to say, we're going to disassociate with this idiot. With all due respect, you have not even an A-level understanding of morality. It's either objective or not. It's either objective or not. If it's not objective, it has to be subjective. There's no other option. What can it be? There's no crossover. There's no middle ground. It's either objective or not. You're, you, that, that's the, that's why, why you got it all wrong. That's why your criticisms against Islam are flawed. Because you don't even have a basic understanding of moral philosophy. You don't. And you can't pretend you do. You have not done A-levels even in there. The Muslim viewers who don't uh, understand philosophy very well. Bro, you don't know it. You have no qualifications. Stop <laughs> condescending us, man. You don't know it. I'm saying, I'm saying to all those viewers who don't understand philosophy very well, I would like to say... Uh, Including you. What Mohammed Hijab said about uh, objective morality is, for example, completely wrong. Which is, uh, Go on, give me the third option. If, 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 I don't, if I don't believe in objective morality, yeah. Morality, yes. That, that doesn't mean that I cannot have objective moral values. It can I'm not saying that. I'm saying you either believe in objective morality or you believe in subjective morality. There's no third option. What's the third option? You have, no, you have just clearly said as when I, when I asked What's the uh, third option? What is the third option? Stop laughing, stop pretending you know what you're talking about and give a third option. Bro, you're, I swear to God, you are finished in, in a way that you don't even know. Bro, people are going to be laughing at you. Atheists are going to say, we thought we had hope in this guy. The great hope of uh, anti-Islamic polemics has just fumbled. Bro, it's either objective or subjective. There's no third option. What is the third option? What's the third option? What's the third option? An atheist may have objective morals that are not based on the belief in God, for example. Um, look, that's a different discussion. You either believe in objective morality or subjective morality. You're saying there's a third option. What is the third option? I will not say it to you. Because you don't, there is no third option. You will not say it because there is no answer. The, uh, the, I'm that's the <laughs> Look, look, make a video, make a video, man. Because you're, you're embarrassing yourself with all due respect. If it's not objective, look, let me teach you. Let me te allow me to teach you. Allow me. Do you know, just allow it. Just allow it. Just submit to the knowledge. Submit to the truth. Submit to the knowledge. Allow it. What I'm saying to you is this. I'm not the one who asked you whether there are only two. Pardon? I was the one, right? I was the one who asked you. Yeah, I said it's either objective or subjective. What you got the third? What's the third one? Right, we're done. We're done. I asked you this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm asking you what's the further option. If it's not objective, it has to be subjective. I will not respond to you because I know... Well, why, don't you, why don't you answer the question? <laughs> no, because he's laughing because he's nervous. He's nervous because he's got no answers in his empty head. That's the reason why. No, for the same reason that you're not going to have a, have a debate with me online. Bro, look, you don't. You're having, look, we're having a discussion now, and you're not really producing substance. You haven't shown your, you're, you haven't shown your abilities, to be honest. I, like. I am playing, I am playing with, I, I'm playing by my standards. You're playing by your standards. Whatever, man. This is philosophy. Look, if, I'm if you, my discussion. You, look, man. You're gonna try and weasel away from this and scramble. You really have nothing to say, do you? You really have nothing to say. Because here's the thing. We talked about the science and we realized that all your scientific arguments are flawed. We, you, you pretty much admitted that. And then now we're going to morality and we realize that, do you know what? If you don't believe in, if you don't, sorry, 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 which you've said, you said you don't believe in objective morality. If you don't believe in objective morality, which means, this means any, listen, this is, you know what the implication is? The implication is this. The implication is any argument you get, make against Islam, which is moral, if you're asking about, uh, age of consent or apostasy or a penal laws or anything you want to ask from this day onwards you have no right to say it that, well, that's why you can't prove your morality you can't prove it you're asking us to prove God I'm asking you to prove your morality I could for example argue that morality is completely based on 
Italitarianism. Yeah, but, the, but John Stuart Mill and Bentham, Jeremy Bentham, who is the, who's the founding father of Italitarianism, they, these individuals never said that it was objective. Yes, it does, because utilitarianism is based on Jeremy Bentham's ethic. Utilitarianism is an idea. It doesn't mean that it has to abide by... Wait a minute. Who, who, who made the idea of utilitarianism? Who is, the, who is the philosophical founding father of utilitarianism? Um, let me teach you, my man. Who, who, who put forward utilitarianism? Let me educate you. You can't, because I'm telling you, who is the founding father of utilitarianism? You can't even answer that. Who is it? Have you read Jeremy Bentham's books? Have you read it? Have you read it? Honestly, have you read it? Have you read it? Who is Jeremy Bentham? Who is Jeremy Bentham? Who is Jeremy Bentham? Who is Jeremy Bentham? Who is he? Who is Jeremy Bentham? Who is he? You don't know. It's what you're saying that if you abide by a moral philosophy, you have to agree with what one certain person who founded the philosophy or who is No, I've not said that. What I'm saying is this that. that no, 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 hold on. The, the definition of, what's the definition of utilitarianism? What's the definition of utilitarianism? What's the definition of utilitarianism? I can't have a utilitarian point of view. What is the definition of utilitarianism? I'm asking you a basic question, man. What's the definition of utilitarianism? What's the definition of utilitarianism? The greatest good for the greatest number. It, it the, the, example, the, society decides, this guy, the, you haven't studied this. I, Don't pretend, please. Go on, go on. No, it's not really. That's not, that's not a definition of utilitarianism. Utilitarianism is not defined like that by any moral or political philosopher. By the way, just, and I've written essays on utilitarianism. I've written, by the way, I've got some, something written on utilitarianism as well. It's called The Problem of Liberalism. And you can find that on for, for free. Mohammed Hajar put it on Google. Uh, Problems of liberaliz li Liberalism. And you can find it for free. I've written about the stuff you claim to talk about. I've written about it, bro. I've, I've, I've published essays on it. No, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is don't pretend to arrogate to me. You're not a professor. You're not my senior. Do you get it? If you were my senior, you could talk like that. You're not... Yeah, you, look. Like, yeah, read my books, bro. Look, can I, can I just come back on this, Adam? Adam, one thing, one, one thing on this, yeah? Or can I just... Can, look, look, please, 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 please. Just allow me, just for a second, yeah? Utilitarianism... No, no, just give me a second. Give me a second. Let me just get, get educate... Yeah, let me educate you. Let me share my knowledge with you, innit? What's wrong? You educate me from your little no knowledge, from your Google searches. Let me educate you with uh, formal knowledge. Let me tell you what's going on. Utilitarianism, yeah, it's really, if you want to put it in a nutshell, it's the greatest good for the greatest number. The greatest utility for the greatest amount of people. Now, obviously... No, just allow me, just allow me, just allow me, just please. No, you, 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 no, listen, hold on for a second, hold on, you didn't, you use democratic logic, it's different. What I'm saying is this, is you, what, what Jeremy Bentham in his book said, what, what, listen, what Jeremy Bentham in his book he said, he said it's very, it's interesting because there's a Quranic argument against this, it's really interesting. He said you've got two lords, you've got the lord of pain and you've got the lord of pleasure. What the Quran says, Have you seen the one who has taken his own desires as a god? So it's interesting, the Qur'an has actually addressed utilitarianism in, a, in, a, in, a, in an interesting kind of way. Now, the thing is, what John Stuart Mill said, is that, say if you have a gang rape, gang rape scenario, yeah? This is a common analogy that's put forward. You've got a gang rape scenario, so you've got one woman, and then you've got five men, and they're all having their goals with her, and she's not wanting it. She's, she's getting raped, yeah? She got finished. Now, in this situation, is this good? Now, obviously, according to utilitarianism in a strict sense, it's allowed because obviously there's no harm principle in place. So John Stuart Mill said, look, in order to allow society to function, we have to put a harm principle in place. So that's how utilitarianism kind of was absorbed into social liberalism. Yeah. Now, with social liberalism, here's my point. Uh, John Stuart Mill, who really was a utilitarian at heart, and by the way, his father, James Mill, was Jeremy Bentham's friend. They were, they were buddies, yeah? That, like this guy who wrote about utilitarianism, his father, James Mill, were friends. Now, he wrote a book. Now, in that book, he said, in, on utilitarianism, is the name of the book, on chapter 4, yeah? He, he talked about proving utilitarianism. Now, he didn't, mention, he didn't name it like that. He named it a long uh, thing, as Cosmic Skeptics told me in the debate. But anyway, he took like a, a long um, title. But it's candid in there. He talks about desirability. Yeah, He doesn't in any way, shape or form try and say that utilitarianism is in any way an objective morality. This is the problem. You're, what I'm saying is you're saying that you, you can have objective morality through utilitarianism. But Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill, who were the philosophical, philosophical founding fathers, they candidly 
actually said you can't really have that kind of thing. It's more to do with, it's not meant to be an objective morality in that sense. So in other words, if you're, if you're pegging your moral value judgments on utilitarianism, you can't go and attack the Qur'an because you know why? You don't have an anchorage, you don't have an objective morality. So you can't back to the Qur'an and say the Qur'an says this and that. You can't say based on utilitarianism because even according to those guys and all the way through to today's scholarship, I'm telling you, I've read the journals, bro. I have read the journals. People that are bigger than me and you, look, utilitarian scholars, I've read the journals, I've read the books, I've done the research, I've done the degrees, please. Don't, don't, put, don't arrogate to me, yeah? I've read it all. No one, no one is making the argument. It's, 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 it's not an argument that utilitarian liberal ethical scholars say that actually utilitarianism is an objective morality. It's not. They know it's not. It's not, it's not an argument. Therefore, if you want to make a moral argument against Islam and say, well, Islam is against this, and therefore Islam is wrong, it's a false argument if you're basing it on utilitarian. If that's your seedbed, if that's your intellectual and epistemological seedbed, it's not going to work. So what I'm saying is that now, since, you've, since science has crumbled, and since morality has crumbled, what have you got left to try and... Uh, no, it has. No, what are you laughing at, man? What's funny? I don't get it. Uh, since, your, since your scientific arguments have crumbled, and now the philosophical thing has crumbled, my question is, what you got left? What you got left for us? What you got left for us? Honestly, what you got left? It's not you. I've, I've, look, I'm not here to destroy you. You're not worthy of me destroying you. You're not worthy of me destroying you. I'm just destroying your arguments, your weak arguments that you don't even know. You, I know that the, the, the shame. The shame of the matter is this. The shame is I know my scriptures and my worldview more than you do. But I know your scriptures and your worldview more than you do. That's the, that's the shame here. Have you got anything? Have you got anything left? Have you got anything left? Bro, you look bewildered. With all due respect, you look di you disappointed me. I, I have to be honest. I thought you were gonna come swinging. Do you know it's like? Do you know what it is, Adam and uh, Slim? Bro, I'll be honest with you. I thought this guy had packed a punch. I thought he had packed a punch a little bit because he was coming rough on Twitter. He was coming tough on Twitter. He was ri ripping up the Quran. This guy was eating the Quran. His friend was eating the Quran. He was laughing. I thought this guy was gonna swing us off and finish us. But do you know what's happened today? All of his arguments have collapsed. Bro, you, I have to say this with all due respect, you are finished. You know you are finished. You have been finished. You're finished, bro. You've tried your best for two hours. Don't pretend this wasn't a debate. It was a debate and it's done. Bro, it's finished with all due respect. You got nothing. You got nothing. You're going to be disowned now by the atheists. You're a liability to atheists with your low knowledge.